Hey everybody. Today's Friday, October the 4th. Temperature is 83 degrees. It was about 90 out here earlier, so the summer's back yet again. Today's a monumental day. These, this guy, as well as the one on the other side, these are permanent. These are done. What that means is, is the canopy lateral phase one, as well as all the rest of the canopy now, is 16 gauge steel. Mind you, the, uh, the original canopy was made out of probably 20 gauge stainless steel but it is what it is. This is all, I still have to come in the back when I drag my welder up in there on a cooler day. Like these joints on the back side, they have to be full seam welded, but all the front is full seam welded as well as the tie down into the base are also full seamed. Show you over here. I probably did this in an earlier video, but I'll do it again. Here's what I replaced today on those bottom pieces. Really thin stuff. I don't even know what gauge that is. But this is, I put these in back before I was taking the canopy not as seriously as I have been recently or when I started putting it in the heavier metal. You can see where. I welded these up like so and then I went back and drilled the holes which is a big no-no because you can't see but you get burrs in there you can't clean up and the drill bit penetrates because that's you know the angle of the canopy naturally if you're drilling straight down you get that problem but these have all been replaced and Unless, I mean, it's everything's where it needs to be. The lighting box up there, everything measures out fine. I don't think, I never say never when it comes to this guy or this girl, whichever. I never say never, but there might be something that I want to just subtly adjust. So I'm not going to say I'm never going to weld all it on again, but with the exception of Continuing this thickening mount for the uh, the skin to rivet to. Canopy, the canopy's done. It's I still have to go on the inside and do a lot of full seams. Like I said, when it gets colder, so I don't die. And then it'll, I'll be ready to cover it with aluminum. I mean, I don't have any excuses at this point. This was a these guys were a major hurdle. These I wasn't looking forward to them. But they were, uh, they went in there like champs and they're, they're both squared here, like on the real aircraft. And it's 16 and three quarter of an inch from here to there on either side. So that is as perfect as it's going to get. Just subscribers have slowed down over the past month. But I still get a few every day. So welcome to the show, you guys. Just a little recap. With the exception of the gauges, the switches, and the comm panels, intercom panels, communication radio, uh, radio, and these seats, and the oxygen panel, and that communications panel, things like that, everything is entirely scratch-built. Everything on the roof is, or the ceiling, whatever you call it, is scratch built with the exception of the original B36 Astrodome I have up there. That's all scratch built up there. Ah, I'll show you something I'm planning to do relatively soon once I get all the full seams up. There's a lot of wire that runs within the uh, 
on the ceiling of the B36 around these guys, and those will be covered up by um, cloth. So I need to start thinking about getting the, um, the AN plugs up there because I think there's at least two up there, big old guys, that run this guy. And he goes straight down around there and back down behind here. And that's where all the that stuff goes. It's a lot of wire. But as some of y'all know what I've been doing, I've been dragging home my B36 uh, over the past two months and um, I'm cleaning it up and taking all of the wire that I will never use in there and uh, here's a lot of it now if they still have good big old plugs on them I'm keeping those but there's just several lengths of wire well that's not a good example and there's not a good example over there but they're here I've set aside plenty of them Anyways, to make a long story short, I've got plenty of genuine vintage B36 wire for all the details up in there. Uh, I'm not going to be able to say the same for these gauges. Um, plus, you know, having to, you know, either get the, uh, the illustrated parts breakdown, which doesn't cover these plugs. I'd have to find out the nomenclature on these plugs and see if I could find them. Of course, you know, you're probably on eBay, 20 to 50 bucks a pop because people know what they are. So I would have to probably make something, a hybrid between a, a metal and resin to run those wires. But that's, that's not going to happen tomorrow. I'm just talking. Um, with these guys done... That means this entire front phase number one is ready for me to go in there and grind down all this and sand and get this looking absolutely perfect. As well as do the details as far as like the aluminum pieces that are gonna cover this. And you've got these L brackets, which I've said several times that I have to make. But that's that, that's good. That makes me happy. Um, I was thinking today that probably that my next thing I'm going to do is to actually do the details on this because when I do the details on this, that means I can cover this thing with aluminum. I've probably said a million times on non-video where I've talked about covering this thing in aluminum. And we're finally there. We are just a matter of doing it once I get the details done. Uh, as you saw, it got up to 90 today and I'm done with the heat, so... Once we start hitting the 50s and I can be out here and not sweat, then I'm going to attack the flight deck floor because I'm really, really, really looking forward to getting getting it off this, uh, you know, I started with two 4x4 four four, uh, platforms, screwed them together, and then added, and it's, it's really flimsy. I'm looking forward to getting that nice, strong base on some nice casters so I can not only turn it around to access it, but also to pull it out on the driveway again and let her catch some rays because she is pretty sitting outside. Uh, I think that's about it. Man, I'm really looking forward to like getting this done, getting these to, to pop out here. And, you know, once I get this, you know, the mechanics of it and the big seal finalized to get this thing pops out, then I can do a rubbing which will show me where my holes are for my U-bolts uh, or U-nuts, as well as these guys here. And I'll be able to just do that. And <clears throat> that'll make me really happy to get this done. It'll make me happy to get this whole thing done, believe it or not. <sighs> Enough about this. I'll see y'all next time.